Hey Outlaw Survivors, how we doing? Mr. A2G, back, finally, playing some Westland. How we going, guys? It has been such a long time since I've dived back into Westland, but I happen to be one of the fortunate people that got the new update for the uh, closed beta of 0.12.0. So I thought, you know what, let's check it out. Let's take a bit of a look and see what I've done so far since the update's been out and give you some of my thoughts what i think about the update what it means for you guys that i haven't received the update yet and what you guys may want to do before the update does drop for everyone so with that being said i'm going to try my best and cover some of the parts and information that hasn't been covered already now what I mean by that is there are a couple of people that have already done that. So if you guys want to check the full guide, the full comprehension of everything that there is to do with the 0.12 update, please check out my pal King Bunker. Um, I'll link him somewhere in the description, uh, possibly through one of the cards here. And um, go check him out. He's an excellent YouTuber. He is very popular on the Westland scene. So yeah. Let him know that I sent you across if you guys want to check him out. Like I said, I'll have some of his details um, thrown into the video here. But anyway, with that being said, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So guys, um, yeah, so 0 0.12. It's a massive change. The devs have gone through, or well, went through a massive change. It looks like it's pretty much an overhaul of the mechanic system in terms of what we have to do now in terms of crafting. Uh, materials have been changed. Um, they are, you know, rebalanced. Now, for example, we've got now bronze. There's copper tools, there's bronze tools, there's iron tools. There's a whole lot of things that have been swapped over and changed so we're going to have a look at a bit, a bit of that as well today and i'm going to show you my new layout of the base so let's get into that right now so my base was very poor beforehand i was going to go ahead and show you what my old base looked like but i didn't want to sort of bore you with that so i'm going to sort of show you what i've got now look i'm not too um sold on it or completely set on it this may be subject to change i'm not too sure exactly how i'm gonna you know finalize it for the most part everything seems to be okay as how i sort of set it up and we're, we're sort of going to get into that now anyway all right so i've still got my perimeter around the base as i have always sort of reduced my main part of the base as well in the central location now and i've got some of my bits and pieces over here stables over there and this is probably the biggest change here now so what we're looking at here at the moment is that we've got all the new workstations the storage boxes as well that go along with it so the companion stage um, you know uh, workstation so you've got the main workstations here and then up here you've got all their storage counterparts so what they've done the developers is they're looking to reduce um, hoarding um, and overflow on the usage of chests and things like that to an extent now it's not you know a, a definitive way of reducing everything i think it just sort of sets you up so you don't you know hoard things and you don't um overrun your base with just you know um hundreds of hundreds upon chests and things like that so um for now that basically sort of sets you up just to you know sort of give you guys a bit of a guidance and a tool from here on out what i've done collectively here i sort of try to do a bit of a streamline process I had envisioned, uh, sorry, envisioned a way that I sort of like to have it, but you know how it always goes. You sort of try something or you've got something in mind, what, what you're thinking about. And then when it sort of put that theory into practice, it always doesn't come out the way you want it. Or, you know, it sort of gives you a little bit of a different impression at the end of the day, but it is what it is. Anyway, so as you can see, I've got everything here. And it, look, it does look quite busy. You probably get used to it for after a little while, but I'm just sort of trying it for now, see how we go. I might even, you know, in fact, play around with it again and change it. So we'll, we'll see how we go with this. And then, you know, we'll, um, we may work something out. I'm, I was thinking of another design of the base, but I don't know. 
we'll, we'll see we'll see how this sort of pans out let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below though so i'll be interested to hear in that um otherwise as you can see i've got an overflow of storage chests on on the perimeter part of my base as you can see there and for now they do contain materials and items and things like that which i'm going to pull out a little bit later on um, as i sort of filter things through and i'll sort of you know put everything into you know storage and things like that but otherwise from that as you guys will probably already be aware of if, if you've seen some of the newer videos or if you've got the update yourselves the whole redesign on how we sort of upgrade our uh, base and play around with things like that has been drastically changed for this um, update here so as you can see the way that we have to build our base the building materials involved at least it gives you a bit of information before you need to uh, before you commit actually to uh, build the actual base uh, workshops I've crafted every workshop so they're already out here so if you didn't have all the workshops crafted they'll be situated here and you'll be able to find just that uh, same thing goes with storage as well so it appears that I've got all the maximum amount of um, storage chests available so they're all sitting on the base at the moment uh, projects now I'm not too sure what this is in particular but otherwise um, there'd be some information here containing that so at least you know exactly what needs to be done I guess and then finally furniture which I haven't uh, dropped down so I've got these little ornaments here eventually I might do that and this is this goes back into um, you know playing around with the base and things like that and sort of upgrading things as well at the same time otherwise let's go ahead and have a look at some of the redesign some of the new changes that have been made as well into the base so um, at the moment this is what we've got the the armor workshop now I have um, as I was sort of playing it playing with this uh, across the weekend I had, you know, tried my best to go ahead and start upgrading some of the workstations. So I'll show you that, that as well and what that sort of looks like. But what I'm sort of guessing for now is that the more that we upgrade our workstations, it may or may not uncover further um, uh, items or, um, you know, things that we can craft moving forward. So interesting for me because the initial impressions that i found here that we couldn't craft or repair things like the armored um uh, uh sorry the armor clothing the superior armor clothing things like that that we've had in the past so my assumption would be after we upgrade say this for example to level two possibly level three that's when we, we may get our armor uh, materials back which makes a whole lot of sense They've done away with the very basic um, uh, attire. Unfortunately, I don't know why they don't have a hat for this, but anyway, it is what it is. But then you've got the, the leather armor equipment, and then you've got the reinforce. Naturally, what may should, or should happen, I should say, is if we upgrade to level three, or if, since, as soon as we get to level two, and as soon as I get some of this, I should be able to upgrade it and possibly show you guys later on. But once that happens it should expose a further um, amount of um, items that we can craft so that's what i'm thinking and to sort of go off the back of that as well oh well there you go so all the basic of basic stuffs are um, situated here but they've pulled out a whole lot of items here that we don't have in the workstation some of them may overlap some of them may not but this sort of gives you a bit of an idea what we can sort of craft for now um, and there are some things that are not shown or situated here uh, for various reasons and some of that would be that you can't or are not available to craft just yet and you do need to upgrade workstations so that'll be that and then here we've got the all the uh, wood materials so I've got some of my stuff here and then what I've done is I think it's this one here yep this is where I've got the majority of my um, wood so what I've sort of done is the items that are the most easiest to craft I've made my chest here as what we call or as what I call uh, an overflow chest so that would be something there that you guys can do and this is probably the reason why that I've done it this way so I've got the the workplace storage here 
um, and some of the more harder to get items I sort of loaded up here for the minute and then later on I throw everything into the overflow here that I may need as a common factor and then thereafter I sort of filter that through once I start crafting um, other materials that may need the use of those um, said materials so that's that um, you've also got the works uh, workshop here and this is what I was sort of saying before this is level 3 upgrade and that ena enables me to get the iron um, uh, axe and pickaxe whereas our basic aside from the the very basic uh, pickaxe and axe we've got copper and then you've got bronze and they obviously need their respective materials to acquire now the iron so far has been increased and buffed up but also minimized which is a big concern for a lot of people that have discovered this so far that have been playing the the new updates um, you know for the short time that we've had it and I'm going to go into that as well shortly after so yeah we've got that there and I've got the, the stone cutter so we've got the new shale as well that you can get from red zones and you do need a lot to make a shale block but you know don't freak out, there is a lot of shale that can be had in the red zones and it shouldn't take you too long to get a decent amount up if you farm it for a little bit. And then you've got the uh, basalt block and you do need basalt itself to get. So, so far from what I can see is the north has it in the, um, in the winter zones and you'll be able to use them, uh, those zones to acquire the, uh, the blocks, sorry, the, the ore and then obviously craft it once you're upgraded. The uh, which I'll be able to do now anyway and that's going to take about four hours to do so I'm going to let that go and once I upgrade that that's going to allow me to start crafting blocks and then I can use that for other material upgrades and then the foundry again you do need to upgrade the foundry so I'm already on level two level three is going to allow me to make iron ingots right now I think they've increased the amount to make an iron ingot from iron ore I believe it was two to make it an iron ingot before the update. Now with this new update, we're sitting on four, which is double. And that's gonna take a little bit longer to actually craft. And this is where it's gonna hurt some people as well, especially if you have not opened up the bridge. This is my next point. If you guys haven't done that and you haven't got this update, my recommendation is right now is to do everything in your empowerment to get the, all the available tar to unlock the town. Oh, sorry, not the town, the bridge to access the, the next part of the map, which I haven't done yet because I've been away from this game for a little while. I hadn't actually done that, so that's my fault, but I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna get that, um, that bridge unlocked shortly. So with that being said, you do need um, quite a bit of materials in order for you to unlock that um, that part of the map so right now you can only get iron ore from the north and this put um, this put, um, proposes another issue so in the north you still need warm armor in order for you to um, go to the north and and clean out um, accordingly and there are um, harder enemies to conquer there. They do run at you as well. And that's where I find some of the issues there that you're going to actually burn some of your armor just to get a little bit of ore back in return. At the moment, I'm not too sure if I see that as a great benefit at the moment. So that really concerns me. I'm trying to find other ways where I can actually find more ore without having to go through the map, which I'm going to show you anyway in a moment. But I just thought I'd bring that up while I'm at the foundry here. So that's just a bit of a concern for me and for people that haven't done that. So best recommendation is go ahead and get the iron done and get that um, bridge finished off, okay? Because it's gonna be a lot harder moving forward, okay? So go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you've got the, uh, the forge, which allows you to make items now moving forward. Again, I've got to upgrade to level 3, which there are some materials that I'm missing, um, which is a bit of a bummer, but is what it is. Um, now, copper is something that's going to be your common factor. So, essentially, in the, in the whole grand scheme of things, copper has replaced the, the ease of accessibility to that one of um, iron ore back when it was there. So, 
that's something that you do need to look at. Um, again, from what my understanding is and from what a lot of people have said, mentioned in the Discord server is that all of your iron ingots may get changed into copper, which is a concern for a lot of people that have either stockpiled in preparation for the update. So my best recommendation is if you guys are going to try to preserve your iron in such a way or in any sort of way, shape or capacity, the best thing that you guys want to do is craft items that need iron. So make iron axes, pickaxes, um, nails, uh, copper wire, uh, sorry, um, iron uh, wire if you're able to do that. Things like that, so at least this way it doesn't revert back to copper or change to copper. So I guess that's something that you guys really want to sort of take point or take notice to. Um, I did have a lot of iron before the update, I know I did. And as soon as I hit the, got the new update um, rolled out to me, everything changed to copper. And now it's a lot harder to get iron. So that's going to be a big concern for a lot of you guys. So you guys do need to make sure that you um, do something about that before it's too late. And then you've got the repair bench. So again, the more that you upgrade, it may expose more um, items that we can repair um, further down the line. So hopefully that might be a benefit to us later on. And you've got the loom, same thing. Um, at the moment, I'm trying to sort of upgrade uh, the loom so I can make uh, the jute fabric roll, which is a new material that's been added into the game. And your, um, your leather dryer does just that. And this leather here, this is one, one of the more necessities now moving forward since this update. So a lot has changed with that. And you guys got to now find this type of leather as opposed to the old type of leather uh, for a lot of the um, uh, upgrade materials and possibly new items that you may need to craft. And then you've got the leather belts as well that may be required. Then you've got jute rope. And then later on, you've got cotton rope as well, and you can get cotton as well, which I thought was going to be hard along with the um, with the with the new leather, which I'll go into possibly another video. Um, it's already getting a little bit up there with this current video now, so I might uh, make another video for that. Otherwise, um, yeah, that's basically for that there. Then you've got a kitchen, which is something new. Got these little guys here. And you can get this tender meat from um, bears, uh, jaguars that you'll find in the red zone as well. You do need a lot of berries though, so that's something that you have to be uh, completely mindful of. Uh, herbalist table, you've got all this now. Now there's only one level to this so far, so you can't really upgrade this beyond that. But um, you can get all these new infusions as well. They have increased the healing factor. Um, and then you've got the laboratory here, which now allows you to make dynamite, things like that, which I can actually make now. So I can go ahead and break down um, stone walls in the neighbor's uh, zones, which from what I've been told, what I've seen from King Bonkers videos, that have been reset. So that's gonna be interesting and less items to make. So there's no sulfur requirement. You just need glycerol and the gunpowder. But the healing ointment, which is the interesting here, you do need alcohol if you want to make alcohol, of course, but this will give you a healing factor of 400, which I find um, yeah, quite interesting. So things like the, the spirit cave and the, the canyon trials, I think this is probably going to be one of the better um, healing agents to go with. Otherwise, and you've just got the, the main storage. Now you've got some of the new items there as well. Uh, as you can see here, so some of the newer materials that we've got. And some of the things that I've just, you know, uh, picked up along the way myself. And I did happen to go through an attack train event as well. I did notice, um, see, some of that has retained as well. So I'm not too sure what the usability of that so far would be, but um, it's there. As I said, yeah, so I went through the attack train event. You do get some of the new materials in there as well. So I encourage you guys to jump in as well to um, take advantage of that if the time comes. And then you've got some of the uh, the fuel bin here. And so I'm gonna have to run out to a red zone and get acquire more fuel. The brown coal, 
and the coal as well are one of the two um, or be better fuel agents that you'd want to grab and obtain to um, you know sustain your workstations when they are crafting so that's something that you guys want to look at brown coal can be easily easily accessible in the um, in the red zones in the um, in the stone uh, zones so you definitely want to check them out as well and that's basically it that's just a, a bit of a tour of the base the new workstations things like that as I said guys I can't stress this enough if you haven't got the update yet and you're eagerly waiting out for it please make sure that you do your best to craft all the available iron tools that you can just so you've got it because from what I've seen the weaker tools in comparison you do go through a lot of those tools um, just to break down the material so things like wood and ore of any sort of variety um, stone as well so you do have to be careful now I've been fortunate that I haven't um, actually um, redeemed some of my um, iron pickaxes and axes that I have in my inventory and they stayed which I'm thankful for and I do have some more in my base so I am using that actively now just to sort of go through it just so I can catch up a little bit and um, and have that ability to sort of you know show you guys a little bit more content as I sort of um, upgrade my stations and things like that so I can actually show you guys but anyway we're gonna leave it here for today um, appreciate you guys stopping by checking everything out and let me know what you think about the new update um, by commenting down below hit the like button if you enjoyed this if you found this informative and helpful in any way shape or form all right guys take it easy i'll catch you next time